Hello and welcome, this is Mr. Creative Quarter here. Um, I'm just going to share this video with everyone um, for paint on brickwork, which is what this video is going to going to be about. I've just got I've just got some awkward areas of brickwork where there's paint. This paint, this line of paint, is, is to me quite unsightly. I don't think it will necessarily affect the value as such of the property. But even so, I don't think that... So it's got some little paint spots on this particular brickwork. You've got one here as well. Some little paint marks. And just up here as well. And these paint marks are from a kind of a gazebo or some sort of wooden platform that was like a little mini conservatory that covered all this paved area and I had to rip it down because um, it rotted out basically it was useless so I'm just going to come through here and show the other quite big this is near the front door this is so people don't want to see this when they come near our house that's going to be got rid of somehow and a couple of little dribbles there Maybe when the um, got some paint there as well. Got some, some other, yeah, just just not the areas on this brickwork, which is not particularly nice. I mean, I've also got this here, this particular water stain. This is not paint, but this is a water stain. But even so, it's an air sandblaster gun. So I don't see why. I can't use that to take the paint off. That's as simple as that. So we're just going to have a go at seeing if we can um, use this to take the paint off and to do other jobs as well. So we've just got just got this box. We'll open this up. This is a new new, um, new shop blaster gun. And let's see what's inside the box. Got the machine itself. Got the destructions that I myself probably wouldn't even need because I love DIY anyway. Okay. Right, this particular. The working pressure of this is around about 4 or 5 psi but the maximum is 6.3 bar which is getting on for 100 psi. This connection here is just the normal compressor line. Um, the nozzles here. There's a, there's, a, there's a slight difference in the shape and design but then three looks similar. But that one look, that looks the one. This one is kind of a rubbery plastic kind of material. It's quite nice actually. That goes on there, and then I dare say the, the contents will go inside there. So we'll put that inside there. Um, I think the maximum is 0.9 mils up there. So I'll go about here somewhere, just be a, you know. But um, we'll just see if. Um, oh. Right. Okay. So this particular, this this is quite a nifty little bag. It's a bit like um, when you get off a compound mitre saw, where you're actually collecting the dust. So this particular material here, which is the brick, where the paintwork is, and you are going to blast that. Um, some of it will go back inside the bag, and I, I dare say you can reuse it. So mainly this is designed, hopefully, for taking paint away from brickwork and to be able to take rust away from metal. I'm not going to use it for that, but this particular this particular picture here, this is how I got kind of sold. This particular, this particular picture here shows that paint can be removed from brickwork. So I don't see why it shouldn't do a good job. That's what it's designed to do. Um, there's iron, iron works here as well, and there's some um, rust being removed from. What does that look like? It looks like a car wheel. So there is a method in my madness, as Shakespeare once said. 
So we'll see how it goes. So will my airline connection connect to that? Okay, I can't show you the air blaster in, in action. But what I can show you is the mess that makes the absolute grit just gets absolutely everywhere. So it really does just get everywhere, but if you're gonna if you can remember where that paint spot was on the on the tap and high up here and a little bit along there just see a couple of lines there it's just about got rid of all of it and some up here as well so I'm just gonna what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna vacuum all this up that gets absolutely everywhere it is on this all over the slabs and that's all over here so what I need to do is vacuum up most of this again so I can reuse it but what we plan to do see it's got a bit of wear and tear on it now What we plan to do is possibly that one there. I'm going to go for that one there where that light is. So the next sort of 30 seconds, we're just going to see that disappear. Hopefully. So after vacuuming all that dust up, that that granite, it's kind of granite, kind of a dust granite type of material. I would advise using a um, a sieve. And you can see the material I don't want to go back inside the gun but at least you can, you can use that again um, after vacuuming so because it is very very expensive so we'll just vacuum what we need to vacuum and then we can um, reuse it again so you can see where the, the level was at its lowest there that is where that is all I had left that lower mark but between that lower mark and the upper mark, that's what I vacuumed up. And a bottle of that, I think the cheapest I've seen on the internet is about £8.59. So it's actually quite expensive and that took me like two minutes to get rid of. So it's quite expensive. So if you can vacuum it up and use a sieve, I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, Well, get your paint, get your paint off the brickwork. Then that's pretty good. So you're looking inside there. It's not. So just to finish off, I'm just going to show the results of this um, paint removal on the brickwork. Um, so if we can just hop over to here, we've got pretty much nothing there. That white spot is actually a, a, a formation inside the brick, so not an issue. Um, there's a lot, there's quite a lot of paint there. And there's definitely a lot of paint up here as well. Um, it's just quite, it's quite good. It's done a, done a reasonable job. Um, well, just because the gate is, because this gate is closed, I'll just do. A, there's a lot of paint near that black wire which has now disappeared um, what I can say is that the actual grip blast they call it it's called something medium um, granules medium or something but basically when you use the stuff it is it is very um, expensive to use which is unfortunate because it doesn't make, make it the most desirable of things to um, to use so I did find a way of if it's if it's going to make a lot of mess on the floor which it does is to vacuum it up and sieve it out so you sieve all the debris in small bits and pieces and you can reuse it because it is so expensive you're talking about ten pounds for a bottle of this size um, so I've used, you, you can probably only recycle it um, a few times. So, just to show what, what's inside, I've actually vacuumed this about 
can't quite see, but I've vacuumed that about about two or three times. So I've used I've actually used these granules about two or three times. But if you actually buy, I think it's 850 grams. I'm pretty sure that's 850 grams uh, up to the top. So that that particular bottle is that's about eight pound fifty, and that's quite expensive. So yes, overall it does do it does it does do a good job. I haven't tried it on wood, and I haven't tried it on metal. Um, but as regards to using this machine, it's quite easy to use. You do need a compressor, anyway. So I've got my compressor down here that I've used for lots of other things as well. And um, this is the particular Union, which is quite, which is quite good to use because it's quite. It's quite simple to use. It's, this particular union that fits onto here is quite a standard standard fit. Um, and this is the this is the vacuum cleaner I use to to suck up the medium. So that is just normal. That is just normal dirt now. But you can, like I say, if you sieve it out, you can reuse it, and it's going to save a lot of money. So overall, pretty good product. And um, Thanks for watching this video and um, please subscribe to Mr Creative Quarter and our channel. I'll have, eventually I'll have lots of other DIY videos on here. Um, years and years and years of mechanical and electrical experience and I shall be all seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.